It's 2.33 and I just woke up having a dream. In the dream there was a, a TV panel in a big room and people were putting random YouTube stuff on it. There was a, there was a peace, some sort of peace protest, uh, some sort of peace campaign video and it said it, uh, the last word of it was conflict and there were some graphics of tanks and things and then a woman's voice said and so do feelings and And then I woke up and it's 2.37. So this is a confessional. There's this French guy that I lived in a shared house with, and we had conflict. He was very excited to move into the house. He really wanted to be in that house. And uh, I wasn't too switched on about choosing housemates and uh can't remember his name he was a teacher we had a derogatory nickname for him Ashley and I that's completely taken over for now We got into conflict. And I was thinking about it because he was he was openly gay. And uh, we got into conflict from day one. I mean he wanted to put a pink fluffy rug on the kitchen floor and it was ugly and stupid and, and it would have slipped and the kitchen is for cooking why do you need a pink fluffy rug in front of the stove and then day the same evening we went out for a, a beer together and um we went and had a beer at the Green King in, in Grantchester. Walked along the river. And it was just the most flat conversation I'd ever had with anyone. And I thought, oh no, what have I done? And uh, it was sometime around Strawberry Fair. And he I thought of him the other day because he described the. I thought of him yesterday because he described the strawberry fair people as the naughty people. <laughs> but he was kind of dark skinned. I don't know whether he was Native American. But things just didn't get any better between us after that. And the thing, I didn't know he was gay, and there was another guy in. In, in the other room upstairs who was gay and so I ended up living in a living in a gay house me and my straight friend Ashley <laughs> but at the time there was someone else so I managed to get Ashley into the house afterwards 
Oh, help me. <laughs> and we got into terrible conflicts with this guy who I will abbreviate, whose name I will abbreviate to CF. <laughs> but the source of conflict for me was him dribbling piss on the seat of the toilet. And he did it again and again and again and again, and it ended up as conflict. So when I fill in my US, um, my application for asylum, I'm going to have to state whether I have ever um, persecuted anyone, because eventually he phoned the police on me. He, he also used to when I was revising, he would listen to his student tapes. I just, the source of the conflict was that all the time the guy wanted my attention. Uh, that's how I felt. And I couldn't, I didn't want to give him attention. I didn't like him. I didn't like the posters of men on his walls. I didn't like the way he decorated it. I didn't like the way he talked. I didn't like the way he dribbled piss on the toilet seat in a way that I can't imagine how you could do that by accident. So somebody tell me now, did I persecute him? Or did he persecute me? And what has this got to do with... I mean, he was of some non, he wasn't what, what I describe as white, um, and he was French, and he was openly gay, so what, what, what is the, uh, what is, what do I say, have I ever persecuted anyone of, for anything? No, I persecuted him because he was persecuting me, and because he had bad taste and he dribbled piss on the toilet seat and, and played his student's tapes very loud while I was trying to study quantum mechanics. So my answer to that question is going to be no. thing that whole house was 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 doomed that I ended up with in conflict with the next person who lived in that room as well but I think that was that was maybe to do with love or maybe not I don't know maybe it's exactly the same thing Another reason that I haven't had many, many female friends is I actually I, I didn't want people to fall in love. I didn't want them to get hurt, so even though I, li I liked someone, I wouldn't if I didn't think that we were going to get into a romantic relationship, I just, I just kept them at a distance. It was very hard. I guess I was in a kind of mode where the only relationship you could have with I could have with a woman was a romantic relationship. But I thought that was because of the way our society works. I mean, you can't be friends with a woman who's got a boyfriend. It's, it's, 
it's possible, but it's hard in that society. And it's even harder if they're married. So to me, it was like, When, when women get married, that's, you don't see them anymore. I didn't like that. But that wasn't the same as with men. You could have friends with male, that was all right. So it kind of segregated the society. And then you get this gay French guy turns up in your house and basically thinks that because you let him share your house, you're married. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> wants to put his fluffy rug on the floor. <laughs>